Okay, so uh, hello everybody. Thank you for your patience. Uh, so we officially kick off. Uh huh. Dasha is also here. Hello. Okay. Hey, Dasha is here now. It's good. You're very good. Okay, so let me officially greet you, welcome you to our uh, stereotypes uh, about uh, uh, <laughs> live webinar about crushing stereotypes on disability and disabled people. So what are the misconceptions or people the, or yeah, the, uh, beliefs that people have wrongly about us. Uh, this webinar is for our Erasmus uh, K2, Erasmus Plus K2 project called Paths to Inclusion. Uh, it will be visible on our, uh, or let's say one of the outputs of the project is inclusion platform, inclusionplatform.eu. Uh, where you will be able to see this webinar uh, besides uh, some other, uh, you'll find many different and interesting ones like on deaf culture, like tips and tricks for youth workers, etc. Uh, you can find also some other interesting stuff, especially for youth workers that work with the disabled and for the disabled people as well. Uh, okay, uh, so let's yeah let's uh, start off this uh, this uh, this live webinar. Actually, let's start with a like a short uh, meaning of the word st stereotype. So it's a it's a widely held but fixed and oversimplified image or idea of a particular type of a person or a thing. Uh, so we will be talking about disabled disability, uh, mainly, well, all of you are invited. We will be glad if you also have something to say, but uh, mainly uh, we will be talking, so myself, Alyosha, uh, then Luca here is with me. Uh, we are both, you don't see, but we are both wheelchair users. Uh, then we have uh, Anja Ursic with us. Yeah, hello. Hello. Uh, she doesn't see, so as a representative, let's say, of this disability group. Uh, and also Dasha Paperko uh, is here. She doesn't hear. Uh, and with her, uh, yeah, we could say with her is Eva, her, interpret her interpreter, but she's from Croatia. Uh, no, for someone, this may be unusual, but as we all know, sign language is universal, like Esperanto, and you all understand each other. Is that correct, Dasha? Sure. sure. No, that's not correct. Uh, sign language is not universal. It's uh, different in every country. <coughs> but uh, Croatia and Slovenia are close, and they have similar language. So... Uh, for today, even I can manage this conversation because I, I actually know a little bit of Croatian sign language, but even I can manage this situation. It's okay. <laughs> it's similar language, so it's, that's, the, that's the, the great part in this. <laughs> so Croatia and Slovenian language, yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, but we already did learn that uh, so sign languages aren't universal. And yeah, I think so. We basically already started crushing stereotypes. So this is one that is not correct. The people think it is, but it's not. So every country has its own signs. Uh, okay, good. Uh, I hope also maybe the one more thing. Uh, I mentioned there will be many webinars on our inclusion platform.eu. Uh, one of them will be also on terminology. Uh, so we will not get into that, but maybe just for the sake of this webinar, uh, do I use uh, do I use the term hard of hearing uh, or deaf? Uh, is deaf maybe an insult? Uh, you use uh, the deaf, the term in deaf. Deaf, uh -huh. It's better to use that, yes. Okay, so it's not an insult. Okay. Uh, okay, we... No, it's not an insult, not an insult. Uh, deaf mute, if you say deaf mute, well, that is an insult because deaf uh -huh. people are not mute, but deaf is definitely okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, good. So that mute is an insult, but not that. Okay, good. Uh, maybe we will get more into, let's say, deaf situation a little bit later. Uh, yeah, I mentioned terminology, so maybe also for Anya, uh, do you prefer, let's say, visually impaired or <coughs> blind also on insult, or what's your opinion on that, on terminology? Uh, yeah. <laughs> This noise. Uh, so, what? Sorry. Yeah, try again, maybe. Okay, so. Not okay. Mm. Why? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, we... Okay, I will try it. Okay, now, now it's better. Yeah, now it's good. Um, so visually impaired is um, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, we hear some kind of an echo or something, some buzzing. Yeah, but here is very strong when I'm talking. Do you uh, hear what I'm saying uh, or not? Yeah, but yeah, actually we hear you, so you can just continue. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, and the technology of visually impaired actually contains uh, blind and partially sighted, and no one of these is in insulting. So. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, we could say not most or most blind pe people are totally blind, or uh, no. <laughs> no, actually, blindness is. If you see under percent here in Slovenia, I think in America it's but here in Slovenia you are blind if you see under the five percent, and you are uh, partially sighted. If you see less than ten percent with uh, glasses or any correction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but, but by the way, do you have some microphone or because I don't know from where this noise would be coming from? This is first time that I have echo, kind of. Uh, maybe I tried twice in uh, this meeting, so I will give uh, with one because now I um, see that I'm with her twice, Anya Ushit or not. Before I was no, no, it's okay. I will um, turn off and get um, another camera. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because you were in like two profiles. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay I will leave try. now and come back. Okay, good. Okay, now it's okay. Yes, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Echo was because I was twinely joined, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, uh, so maybe just uh, if someone didn't hear you before, just a quick conclusion. So visually impaired uh -huh. is for the... So visually impaired actually um, contains both groups, the blind and uh, partially sighted. And uh, the usage of no one is insulting. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So now we know. Uh, I don't know for which users. Well, I mean, in English language anyway, you just say uh, for which user. user and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the terminology we will be using. Uh, okay. Uh, now, if you all agree, maybe let's start with some common, like common stereotypes about the disabled as a group in general. So. Maybe like, yeah, what have you heard or what do you think apply for all of us? I mean, apply what, what do people think that apply for all of us? We are all like what? Maybe Luca, you? The one of most like heard of, I think, is that we, we are all a bit special, like even for the visually impaired, hearing impaired, us with the wheelchairs, they are like, they don't have 
much ability it's like of uh, understanding like uh, normal people do or they, they're not so intelligent. So yeah, I hear that a lot that people with disabilities are not so smart or intelligent or they are special. Uh -huh. So they... Okay. But that's yes, um, that's I also you, agree. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, but um, I also agree, I think, for uh, persons with disability, that is um, a lot of time is kind of, they think you also have kind of a mental disorder or something. Mm -hmm. that you are not just physically limited, yeah. but that you are also not intelligent, so you cannot do school, so yeah, this kind of. Okay, and... Uh... Uh, good. So, uh, and Luca was just trying to say that. Uh, Dasha, uh, sorry, Dasha wants to say something. Uh huh. Okay. Je, I would like to explain a little bit uh, uh, regarding the deaf people. I also noticed that they think the deaf people are stupid or something because they have a problem with communications, communication. But if you, uh, I would like to say that. Of course, that's not the case because you have to explain on the right language. Their language is sign language, and if, then they can understand the information. And you can normally talk with deaf people. It's not regarding the intellectual problem, of course. It's their language. Sign language is their true language. Okay, good. Uh... So as Luca was uh, was trying to say, it's yeah, this is not true. No. Maybe for some the same. Yeah, maybe for, yeah. Yeah, for a couple of them, but mostly if we speak like generally and like of most of us, it is not true. We most of we have our own capacity of thinking and yeah. way, ways of doing things, and maybe they're a bit different than other other people. But yeah, we get things done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, in general, I mean, nothing, no specialty about us, nothing like, let's say, wrong with us. Just, for example, me and Luca, we use a wheelchair to, to get around, to go to places. And uh, yeah, so Anya doesn't see, uses a white cane, maybe. And uh, yeah, Dasha communicates by sign language, and that's it. Yeah. It doesn't mean we have any other mental disorders or anything. Uh, okay, good. Uh, do you, uh, Anya or Dasha, remember or like any stereotypes that would be, uh, that would go for all the disabled? Yeah, maybe that um, you have some supernatural powers uh -huh. because you are limited in physical ways so maybe you are more spiritual or something uh-huh okay good and you think this is true or no no <laughs> uh so no no superpowers for you okay no superpowers. <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately yes. okay not yet maybe one day yeah not yet maybe one yeah <laughs> Uh, Emma, okay. Dasha would like to say? Yes, please. Is, uh, would only, uh, for the people in the wheelchair. Oh. Uh, for the, the for uh, the blind people with white uh, stick and for the uh, they. Just one moment. I I noticed that the persons uh, usually uh, got afraid when they see some uh, people uh, with uh, disability that can be there for be or a person in a wheelchair or they do not know how to approach that person. That's what I noticed. Mm -hmm. They got scared. They don't know what to do. If the person is blind, should I tap her on the back? If the person is deaf, how could I communicate? If the person is in a wheelchair, should I help them or something? Yeah. Yes, but I think that can solve. We just need to approach the person and ask them. I see that as a solution. Yeah, exactly. I mean, very good. Uh, so we could say a stereotype is um, that people think that we need help or 
Out of fear. Because people, what they fear, if they don't like to talk about it or ask it or be like, eh? yeah. if things are done out of fear, they are mostly done not in the correct, in the correct way. So yeah. yeah, when they see us on the streets or maybe something like, like that, you mostly see some weird like looks and stuff like that you know so yeah or 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 on 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 the other hand you 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 see that uh, overreacted like uh kindness and helpless can yeah, i help you yeah, yeah. So, you see both yeah. yeah 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 the the least thing that you see is like normal tone con- conversation yeah, like exactly and to see that the eyes that they just want to know how are you and how is your day? Exactly. Uh, yeah, most probably comes of that that they don't know any disabled yeah. person. Uh, but yeah, it happened to me also with little children, like that mothers are like, oh, don't even look at them. Yeah. Like we are contagious or, yeah, spoiler alert, you cannot catch my paraplegia. Mm-hmm. So you can touch me or talk to me or whatever. Hug, Hug me even. It's, it's fine. Right. Yeah. You won't catch it. Uh, people tend to say they will pray for us. Has it happened to you? Yes. Even once when I was the last time, you know, we were in Lithuania. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the taxi driver yeah. was like, Jesus is with you. I'm going to pray for you. Uh, like, don't give up. So, yeah. Okay. Don't give up. Okay. So, I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, where to start? Like, what's what's wrong with them? It's... It's, I mean, you don't even need uh, any re- religious help. Maybe you don't have the same God as this person. Yeah, maybe like in the first couple of years, those sentences and then stuff like that made me angry. Yeah. But now when I see a person that says things like like, like, like that, I, I, I only make like a short smile and say thank you and move on because to like, because you would just waste your time trying to explain to her, maybe not all the time, maybe sometimes you, yeah. you have to see that it's the right time to like engage and like mm-hmm. to let them know something new, but mostly if you say something like something back, they are so, uh, they're so uh, watching, mm-hmm. uh, they're so convicted that they're doing the, the, the right thing uh-huh. and they're, they're helping you. And yes, so yeah, mostly I, I, I just smile and say thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Alyosha, can I also say something? Yes. Um, so maybe I think also that stereotypes and um, perceptions that other people have about um, disabled people are also um, within kind of this disability models frameworks. Because mm-hmm. um, I know this because I lectured uh, at a faculty at the FIFA Deva about uh, disability models and uh, actually if um, within for for instance i will just say um within medical um disability model people will perceive us through our physical limitations then we have social disability models that people will perceive us okay disability is not just a physical limitation but it's also the environment social environment the society Mm-hmm. which actually disables people oh. with disabilities. And then, of course, we, we have also this charity disability model, model that people see, you, okay, you, you need just help, uh, you know. So I think also that um, these stereotypes are arising within these disability frame, uh, models frameworks. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So this medicine is probably still the most like spread around society, we could say. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I don't know if Dasha also wanted to. Dasha? No, no, I, I agree. Uh-huh. I agree. Yes, the what Anya said also. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, maybe. What others are, uh, or like what general? Okay, so we. Oh, sorry, sorry. Dasha remembered something. Sorry for interruption. I remembered about stereotypes. Uh huh. 
For uh, regarding the interpreters, yes. Uh, people know when I have my interpreter with me, they they uh, also, uh, most of the people talk to my interpreter, not to me directly. And it's also a stereotype because they need to talk to me directly. My interpreter is only my voice. You don't have to talk to my interpreter, talk to me if you want to talk to me. <laughs> so uh, say hi to me, say what you want to say to me. <laughs> don't talk to my interpreter. <laughs> He's just my uh, my interpreter is just my voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that's yeah, one of, of, of the really yeah. common ones. Yeah, even for uh, so other yes. disability groups. Yeah, in, that people uh, seem to speak for somebody else. You know, that somebody else speaks for for, for you. Yeah. If, if we get to the store or to the pharmacy or to the, somebody, you have to do some errands. Yeah. People like tend to, to to think yes. Uh, it's the, easier to, to speak to somebody that is on yeah. their feet and healthy yeah. than to have a conversation with somebody. It's, yeah. That is a common one. It, yeah, it happened to me too, too too many times, unfortunately. Like, I don't know, with waiters and asking, I don't know, my wife, my friends, like, what is he having? I mean, come on, I'm sitting just right here. You can ask me, it's fine. I can hear you. Yeah, exactly. Anya, maybe you have the same. Yeah, it's the same because uh, visually impaired people, we cannot get uh, eye contact with others. Mm -hmm. So uh, they also get in contact with, for instance, personal assistant or our friend, mm -hmm. family members. So, yeah. Yeah. So please, people, don't do that. Uh, speak it's to us. Rude. Direct, yeah, it's rude. Speak to us directly. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dasha said nicely, and it goes also for our assistants, so they are just, uh, I mean, talk to us, and they are just here to, I don't know, help us, uh, yeah, do some stuff or speak uh, instead of us, but it's it's us, yeah, that we, we have our own will. Uh, okay, I don't know if we mentioned already, like, some stereotypes that oh, all the disabled people are oh, poor, they deserve pity, they cannot do anything by themselves. Uh, you probably heard something like that or have had yeah. experience like that. People coming with money, like a couple of euros, <laughs> here you are, like, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to give you something, like, thank you, man. Like, and uh, well, you would buy something out, but yeah. You could be a millionaire, but people think because you're on a wheelchair, you are poor. Yeah. Maybe not. Da maybe Dasha maybe. wants to say, sorry, Dasha, Dasha wants yeah. to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Just on. I just wanted to say that also, uh, uh, well, regarding this uh, money issue that you were talking, like people also know how to give money. They also uh, know to treat uh, uh, deaf people like that. Oh, you're deaf. Can I give some money to your, I don't know, organization to you or something like that? And uh, and that that's not that you know on a street or something like that. That's not the way to do it. That's not the way to help someone. Definitely, <laughs> no, no need to do that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, good. Uh, because you can feel if somebody wants to help you, like naturally, like organically. Uh -huh. It's in him. Like he, he he does some projects and he he helps the people. Yeah. But you can feel that when somebody comes to you and just out of like politeness or like some dumb, uh, awkward, like, yeah, uh, they they just start to talk about money and stuff like that. So, yeah, people can feel that. So, yeah. yeah, so we could say officially that we, or at least all of us, don't need help or like some support all the time. And as we said, we don't need your prayers. Wants money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and especially pity, pity, or at least for me, is the worst. Like, uh, you should be, I mean, be 
be compassionate or be or just like have a really normal conversa conversation, no need to be or to have this condescending, let's say, voice or, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, maybe one uh, one more of the stereotypes for all of us that we don't have, that we don't have a productive life or a happy life, meaningful life, that, that we are like spending our days uh, sitting in front of the window and just, uh, I don't know, dreaming about walking again or dreaming about seeing or hearing. And it's, what would you guys say? I would say it's not true that we do a lot of stuff still. Of course, like, but there is all that, that is always super fine stuff. There is a lot of disabled people at home, mostly not outside, but yeah, but yeah, for like uh, young, uh, active, like disabled person, that is an insult. Yeah, yeah. Are, like, she's just home because, like, everybody else being young and disabled or like yeah, active and disabled. It's not some, some something strange. It goes in hand in hand. Like it's normal to be active, young, and yeah. so yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm, yeah. I also agree that this kind of uh, passivity stereotypes is very common within our society. I also remember once. DRS um, not at all. What? Uh, so I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Okay. It's now okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you can continue. Yeah. So uh, once I remember um, that I was at um, our organization for the blind and. Um, some people from ministry come to evaluate our programs and uh, when i was telling them what i'm doing for instance that i'm going to mountains and that i travel they were just what how can you do this mm -hmm. and uh, i noticed that even you know those um you know authorities also think that so this is but uh, mm -hmm. let's say very positive so yeah yeah so we do a lot of stuff mm -hmm. still, let's say. Yeah, don't just sit around all day. Yeah, they think that we are just, uh, as you told before, we are just sitting at home and uh, no. Mm -hmm. Doing nothing. Okay, so again, it's not true. Yeah. Of course not. <laughs> uh, Maybe some days, like one day in the week. <laughs> yeah, I like to be lazy and then like uh, to use my... Uh, it's really, really picard. <laughs> Today I'm lazy, handling okay. all the stuff because everybody think I'm, 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 I'm lazy, so why not? <laughs> yeah. Okay, but that's not like all day, every day. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, yeah. A bit of joke, but yeah, a bit sometimes maybe truth. Yeah. yeah. You know what they say, but there is a bit of truth in every uh, joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, but anyway, yeah, we still can we can do business and go to work and do sports and a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, have, have children? Yeah. Do that you was, have children? Yeah, that's... yeah. Yeah, that was also one. Uh, okay, sport. But, but okay, yeah. No, no worries. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I don't know if Dasha also. Uh, Eva, I, I I muted you because okay I hear I'm I I unmuted myself okay, okay. good good, good. Uh, Dasha was saying yes uh, when uh, also she, I had experience also uh, when I say I work in a association of dev when I talk about the projects I work on and uh, that they are my project or something whatever I achieved them have. Some people are like, really? You did that all by yourself? Oh, mm -hmm. well, how can you do that? I think it's very important to say to them that we can do all normal stuff. And that, again, I say we are not stupid. We can do, uh, you know, uh, as far as deaf people goes, it only takes uh, language uh, uh, clarity. To have the, them uh, their their own language to do that, and they can do anything. 
for example, uh, also I can I work with children, and uh, some of the hearing people. Oh, how can you work with children? How how can you work with children? Why wouldn't I be able to work with children? Uh, I, I I can I can watch them normally. I give them to eat. I watch them uh, watch them sleep or play with them. I can do all that stuff normally. Yeah, exactly. Uh, good. Okay, one of the last ones. I had in mind was yeah that was now a good intro like stereotype that we are heroic inspiration you have probably heard that but like people see you just walking on the street and you are like praising you you are I don't know such a legend or a Superman yeah we, we mentioned that for about superpowers especially yeah. powers so yeah that is a common one too yes. <laughs> But it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, as we mentioned, we do a lot of stuff, and if you do, maybe admire us or praise us, maybe yeah. do it because of our work, let's say, and not just because, I don't know, we, like Anya said, went to the mountains, or, yeah, watching kids, like Dasha said. Uh, okay, slowly we will, uh -huh, Dasha has... Yes, Dasha. Yeah. Okay. I surely want to say uh, deaf people are very proud. Uh, they were uh, regarding the, the the trip. They they like travel a lot, and they are very proud of their traveling. They like to see other countries. They they like to talk out to other people when they come to other country to connect, and they really are very uh, proud on that. Uh, that on that deaf people really enjoy that. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say that yeah, slowly we will go like into some specific stereotypes that uh, people tend to think about yeah, wheelchair, wheelchair users, blinds and the deaf. Maybe just the just the last thing I have also like heard or noticed one of the or let's say last stereotype that goes for all the disabled that we are asexual have you heard that one or noticed that one that means that, that we that we don't are like don't or, or like uh, if, or yeah, both or like that we are like not sex. interested don't have sex are not interested in sex in this sexual intercourse or yeah, that's why sexual relations yeah. yeah we can have children yeah. so we can have children okay and most of <laughs> us have how to say that in english like formally appetite for yeah yeah so making love having exactly love. like feeling love how do yeah. you say that like it's not an uncommon thing to not feel yeah even like let's say for us, if the sensation is not there, it's still like in your head this desire. Yeah. Uh, Anya, if you are not too embarrassed, you agree? Yeah, maybe I have heard, but um, maybe in some talking in general, but yeah. I... Mm -hmm. um, so this maybe applies more to the wheelchair users. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, Dasha agrees or yeah. yes, I agree, I agree, I agree. Okay. Uh in the history, uh in the history they uh yeah, uh, yes. A long time ago they thought also the the deaf people uh, they don't want to have they, they thought the deaf people it's better for them not to have children, not to Pass the deafness, you know, on other generations. Sometimes they, uh, but that was a very long time ago in history. In history, they said to their people, "It's better for you not to have children." Uh -huh. That's the case. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully not that nowadays it doesn't happen and that we like cr crushed this stereotype a long time ago. Okay. Good. Uh, okay, so if we basically started, yeah, with the wheelchairs and having sex and having kids, uh, then maybe let's move on, uh, yeah, with some short ones, uh, for example, for the deaf, like, 
I would assume, or people would assume, that all deaf people can lip read? Good. Or is that not correct? Uh, no, no, uh, that's not correct. Uh, uh, actually, a few, uh, not many, uh, many uh, deaf people can uh, clearly uh, lip read, because actually it's very hard. I have to say it's very hard. Uh, in uh, only thirty percent of the voices are uh, clearly seen when you watch only the mouth, you know. Oh. So we have to know that. I'm not saying it's not uh, possible. It's possible for someone to know that uh, and be great at it. Uh, but it's actually uh, hard work. And when I was going to school, uh, I didn't have interpreter with me, and I was going in hearing school, uh, regular school, yes. And it was uh, pretty hard for me uh, at the beginning. And I'm happy because I have a deaf family. My whole family is deaf. Mm -hmm. And my grandma was uh, teaching me uh, regarding the uh, lip reading. I was also going on rehabilitation, yes. But my grandma on a spoken yeah. language. So I was also learned that for my... But it was hard for me in school without an interpreter, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So uh, thank you. Uh, okay, if we move on to Anya. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and then maybe conclude with the superpowers. Uh, but uh, blind people do have maybe some kind of a super superior hearing, or maybe <laughs> other senses more developed. No, that is not true. Um, Okay. But a lot of people think that yeah, we maybe hear better or something. Yeah. But um, this is not true. Maybe when you lose sight, some senses get more sensitive, or you yeah. know. But it's not because you're blind or that, but 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 mm -hmm. because you need to get information through other senses. I think mm -hmm. it's to be honest. So okay. this is not true. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's not like that you would have or hear something from, mm -hmm. from kilometers away. No, no. <laughs> no, okay. no. Okay. Not, not yet. Not, not yet. yet, not yet. Not yet, okay. You know, like, like to say too about the, the visual impaired and about the singing and appreciating the music that, uh -huh. uh, that, that the, all the black people like to sing and you know, they, uh -huh. they like the music like uh, I okay, I, I haven't the heard. People are great, like Ray Charles and stuff like that. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, I also have heard that, but that is even not true. So, uh -huh. okay, so another stereotype. We can yeah. uh, Tasha would like to say yes. Uh, for deaf people, uh, they who is born deaf, they don't even know what does it, uh, uh, how does it feel to, to when you can hear. So they cannot uh, want to have something they don't even know what it is you know they don't have a, a, a experience of how that is so they don't miss it they really don't miss it and they yes. don't want to, they don't want to become a hearing person mm -hmm. yes yeah uh okay actually a good thing you reminded me now of a of a friend that has a muscular dystrophy so some kind of a neuro degenerative disease oh, and yeah she had it from the birth and like any or like let's say common belief would be but like oh but there is some treatment now or for sure you would like to walk again or on and she yeah. i mean she's used to it she she has been using a wheelchair her whole life and she's like no i mean that's not at all my desire so again yeah people don't pray for us no need to pray for us because yeah we can be fine just the way we are. Uh, maybe some other Luca you would like to mention about, I don't know, that you remember some common stereotypes about wheelchair users? Uh, wheelchair users. The common one is that somebody is, assumes someone else, else speaks for, for you, uh -huh. and that, that we need help all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that we cannot have children, some, something like that, or, or like fruitful life, like meaningful. That we all know each other, right? Yeah, that, that, that is a big one. That <laughs> that is is a big one. Yeah, because like Slovenia is a small country, 
Yeah. So it's not like uh, <laughs> uncommon to like to know a lot of people from the same uh, groups. But yeah, it's a big uh, stereotype. Like you, you know, uh, Peter from Maribor. From like, Maribor, yeah. He... yeah <laughs> so sorry, I don't know your cousin with the hip condition. With the hip condition or whatever. Yeah. So that's a big stereotype. Yeah. So we don't know. Or 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 that one when like people see you in a wheelchair, they 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 start to like. Connecting, connecting with you mm-hmm. and explaining their situation when, when they were on a, on, a, on a wheelchair like for one month. With a broken leg. Yeah, and they said, I was in a wheelchair too for one month and look at me now, I still don't like <laughs> So yeah, those are the big ones. Yeah, that, that's not, yeah, people, the, when you have a broken leg or something, it's it's completely different when you have a spinal cord injury. It has not. Or any other like, uh, Situation that leads you to wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. mentioned, the diseases or yeah, conditions, it's stuff like that. Idea. Yeah. Uh, okay, good. Uh, okay, maybe we move on. Uh, back to back to Dasha. Uh, mm-hmm. what else is there? Uh, about sign language with it. Uh, I also heard that or. Like people say, the deafness is an invisible disability. <laughs> that you agree with that, or that's. Uh, that's uh, the question is: Does she agree that the deafness is not the? Uh... Or yeah, does she also like use this phrase, or is this again maybe insulting? What that, that it's not a visually the sorry I didn't understand you Alyosha. Yeah, uh, you, or, you think that uh, here uh, uh, the deafness is uh, invisible in uh, disability. Yeah, like invisible disability. Uh, uh, okay, so, uh, so the question is, does Dasha agree with that? Okay. Or what does she think about yeah this term. conception term yeah belief? Yes, that's true. Uh, deafness is not uh, uh, visually uh, uh, in the, uh, disability. Yes, because on the street, the other people they they see me and they don't know that I'm a deaf person. It doesn't say it on my face or something. And then when they approach me or something, they uh, then they realize that I'm a deaf person. Yeah. Uh, for example, so regarding the hearing aids, uh, that is also a stereotype. They think that uh, oh, oh, uh, hearing aids also that when the person is wearing a long hair or or a hat or something, they don't even see that they're wearing hearing aid on their ear. They cannot see that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, now now that you mentioned it, but like uh, everybody could have a hearing aid and then you would just hear us. So why don't you have one? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, well, uh, before I was actually wearing a hearing aid, uh, mm-hmm. but it actually <laughs> bothers me so I remove it because uh, it's not that you hear like like uh, uh, like hearing people oh. when you wear your hearing aid. It's always um, a little bit strange sound, and it's not uh, clear. It's not clear sound. It's not the same for everybody. It depends on the percentage of your uh, problem with your hearing. Yes, uh, but uh, or any on may or maybe other conditions, but also on the phone. Uh, you cannot uh, uh, wear. You can wear your hearing aid, but you cannot talk on the phone, uh, and because you won't uh-huh. understand that. Uh, so definitely not uh, wearing. Uh, if you wear a hearing aid, it doesn't make you a hearing person. Definitely not. Okay. Uh... You you can understand uh-huh. some words when you're talking on a one-to-one conversation, and also if there are many people, it's also. Uh, you cannot hear the difference between voices, and it all becomes very unclear when it's uh, more people talking. Yes, you have to actually learn how to hear with hearing aid, and it doesn't work for everybody. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, I, I mean, or I hope Dasha caught my sarcasm. I mean, I was deliberately trying to be provocative because, yeah, that's also one of the one of the stereotypes that people have. So, thank you, Dasha, for explaining that. that yes, not, of course, no problem. <laughs> that, that, so it's not like this. Yeah, so it's not their choice to be deaf or to hear or not to hear yeah so it's not like it's not like this it's not black and white uh okay thank you uh i also wanted to ask anya uh i mean for you uh, for the for the blind it's better to talk to you guys loudly no so you can hear or understand or you guys know that we are talking to you no correct no, um, if you want um, that we know that you are talking to us, um, you have just, for instance, if okay, if the if in the place is very loudly and noisy, you have to, for instance, touch uh, or something that we know that we are talking to us, a okay. uh, hand or yeah, but. Um, if the place is very silent, if you just talk, we actually know that you are talking to us because we hear the direction and yeah, so we know. <laughs> okay, so no need to to speak to you very well. No, 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 no. Okay, if the if in the place is very noisy, then yes, but this is also for those without uh, <laughs> impairment. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Anya. Uh, Luca just quickly had to run somewhere, so maybe we uh, maybe we stay with you guys. Uh, we we have been talking about sign language already. Uh, our knowledge being part. Uh, maybe do you, Dasha, remember or have any like common stereotypes? about the deaf people, deaf group. Uh, yes, uh, one of the stereotypes many people have is that the deaf people cannot uh, drive car. That is one of the oh. common stereotypes. Oh, oh they, they, uh, can you drive a car? They, they know oh. this. And actually, <laughs> actually, of course, the deaf people can drive a car, and uh, uh, they uh, uh, in the oh. traffic uh, there are lights, and uh, the they can deaf people can see uh, lights. Of course, if there's an emergency, it's also mm -hmm. emergency light, and they can pull aside or something. So definitely, deaf people can drive. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. So another misconception or a stereotype that's not true. Okay, good, thank you. Uh, a while ago, uh, uh, just before Dasha also mentioned traveling, uh, well, so for myself and also other people on the wheelchair, I know, I mean, yeah, as long as it's accessible, we like to travel, so it's nothing unusual for us. Uh, so for Dasha as well, uh, how about Anya? You, you did mention you go to the mountains. Uh, yeah. How about like traveling, going to other places? Countries? Yeah, also I love traveling. Mm. Oh. But people think, why would you travel if you don't see um, oh. the surrounding landscapes? Oh. Uh -huh. So um, they don't know that you can even perceive the world through di different senses, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I really lo love to travel. Mm -hmm. So it's again another misconception uh, uh, mm -hmm. visually impaired don't like to, but actually, yeah, you do. <laughs> it depends on the person, like any other, we could say. And also, if you travel for me, for instance, it's very important to get in um, contact with people, 
Yeah. Yes. That you know the culture, taste, food. So it's yeah. not everything about seeing, actually. About sightseeing, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, another, uh, actually, if we can stay with you, Anya, another thing I wanted to ask how about, or maybe a stereotype here would be that blind people cannot um, watch a movie or go to the cinema. <clears throat> yeah, mm, this is also not true. Uh -huh. mm, we watch movies, but we actually listen to them. But um, if the movies have this audio description, um, it's uh -huh. actually like we see them. We, we can imagine what is actually happening in the movie. If they don't have this audio description, we make our own imaginations what is happening but we we watch movies and also for instance maybe the, uh, very similar with with uh books um that we cannot read but yeah nowadays that it's very popular um this audio library so of course we um listen to books okay good thank you very much um mm -hmm. Okay, maybe uh, we will conclude shortly. Okay, we will wait for uh, again for Luca. He will be back very shortly. Maybe you remember any other Anya, mm, like for being blind or blindness, any other? Yeah, other um, maybe people think that guide dog. Okay, I don't, I don't have a guide dog because uh -huh. I'm, I'm seeing something, so I'm partially sighted. But for instance, for people that have <coughs> guide dogs, yeah. They they think that oh guide dog dog is like GPS. Um, they know where to go. Uh -huh. You just tell them oh, I want to go. Uh, I don't know to the shop, and they will bring you there. But that is not true. Uh huh. It's not true. No, you have to give instructions to the guide dog, and yeah. Uh huh. Of course. Okay. Um, and maybe another um, very typical stereotype is the one that people think that um. Um, that we recognize people if we touch their faces. Uh huh. And but th that is not even true. Um, actually, we recognize, for instance, for, for me that I'm partially sighted. Um, I um, I remember how tall they are, how are they dressed. I remember very well their voice, and also for blind, yeah, the voice is, um, let's say, the recognition signal. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but not by touching our face. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. So another. Wow. I think we have crushed wow. yeah, many, many stereotypes today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Luca, did we forgot like any for wheelchair user specific, or we more or less? I think. No, we we hit the target on those. We hit the target on those. I'm thinking about. Uh, Deaf and uh, vision impaired because I said it was uh -huh. I forget one of those. Uh -huh. But I think that the like the most of them, like the the main main uh, stereotypes that you can see not like or feel it on the street and like experience it. I think that we a couple of those we mentioned the main ones. Yeah. So yeah, okay. people uh -huh. try to be less stereotypical. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, I mean, for me, or as we actually already mentioned, stereo stereotypes come from, well, not knowing or fear. Uh, so what would our suggestion be? Like, uh, ask us, I mean, hang around, interact with us normally, if yeah. I can use this word. Yes, but this is like a double-edged sword because not only you need people to, like, to calm down a little bit and be more yeah. more human or how do you say that yeah. to more like yeah, yeah just say hi and be human yeah. but, on, but on, on the other hand you do need like disabled community that it's not like or or defensive or to like uh, mm -hmm. annoy or always like uh, yeah. We don't have eh, time all the time to explain or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You need both sides to be uh, working and cooperating and yes and if, if both sides will do that we can see some changes in our 
yeah. future, near future. Yeah. Uh, so actually, yeah, a very good point. So it's not all in the society or stupid people or ignorant people but also on our side that we try to explain like not be sarcastic maybe yeah, you have a, yeah, a lot of people with disabilities yeah. that are very mad or sad because of their own like state and yeah. uh, dasha would like to just uh, she uh-huh. just want to uh, point that it's very important to ask a question actually to the directly to the person what do they want mm-hmm. ask them just be open-minded come to the person and ask what do you want? How can I help? Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. That's true. Very good. Yeah, I mean, also for, like, let's say, my conclusion, it would be, or maybe even Luca mentioned it before, yeah, don't assume, ask. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So yeah. then it would be okay. better for everyone. It would be better, like, understood <laughs> and everything. And I think that the... Uh, Maybe this is not off topic or not so related, but I, I think it would be very helpful in society if uh, like public figures would be people with disabilities too, you know? Uh-huh. Like in the last, I, I see trend in the last five to 10 years in Slovenia that you see some people like going for like uh, mayor's offices, you know, stuff like that, like, mm-hmm. like, like political choices. Political, yeah. Like maybe people don't like political uh, environment uh-huh. so much like uh-huh. mostly so uh-huh. if we would see like like uh, public figures in the other sense than political uh-huh. you know like public figures movies. in the sense movies yeah. sports uh, culture uh-huh. i don't know like business everything else media, yeah. media like school system everything if you, if you would see more people with disabilities yeah engage in this public life or like public figure life Mm-hmm. Then people would really see yeah, that it's not like a big thing. Like if we have like our I don't know secretary is like uh, visually impaired. I don't mm-hmm. know our like yeah, yeah. janitor you has has a hearing thing, you know, impaired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our like uh, <laughs> history teacher, I don't know. Uh, Dasha would just like to explain a little bit uh, <laughs> okay. regarding this uh, topic. Uh, yes, uh, definitely the the people with disabilities should be more included in public life, and uh, uh, and we should actually call uh, call uh, Dasha like this, that we should call people with disability in public life more. That this public life should be more approached to them, you know, okay. and everything they need. That is the case because uh, in public life, they have that barriers we talked today. Uh, uh, we talked today, yes. Mm-hmm. So they can they can broke the stereotypes in that kind of way. I agree definitely. Yeah. More more people with disability in public life. Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh, good. Thank you very much, uh, Anya. Maybe you have some let's say yeah close if last words. <laughs> Mm, yeah, maybe also that that um, getting in contact with persons with disabilities is weakening stereotypes and not get get not get offensed if we are asked something or yeah. Yeah, very good. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think we did in this. Dasha. Yeah, thank you, Anya, Dasha, Luca. Maya. Myself, Alyosha, and uh, of course, thank you, Eva, Eva for all the yeah. interpreting. Yeah. Uh, I think we did in this one hour or so crushed many, many stereotypes, many misbeliefs people might have. Uh, so thank you very much for your input. Uh, keep following us on uh, Pets to Inclusion social media and inclusion platform.eu where you will also soon uh, be able to uh, to see or to hear this uh, okay. webinar. I okay, will put the link of this right, right here, so you can uh, click on on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do, do, make him, yeah, do him, uh, or make him some work, uh, additional work, okay. That is uh, like in, in, interna, yeah, in, intern. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, thank you very much to all the all the participants. Uh, and yeah, we will be in touch. Be good. Stay safe. Stay safe, and see you soon. See you soon.
Bye. 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 Bye.